For millions of children, this place might look like their dreams come true. There are princes and princesses, unicorns and carriages. This is the headquarters of Playmobil in southern Germany. A world of small plastic figurines, each with a smile as simple as a child's drawing. This is where the little people come to life. They begin as a 3D drawing from which craftspeople create the moulds and then the pieces are stored ready for assembly. Head of development Bernard Hanna is constantly dreaming up new additions to the Playmobil universe whilst trying to retain its original spirit. The figure that we have in Playmobil the figures that we have at Playmobil, in terms of their size and appearance, have basically stayed the same for 40 years. What has changed are the expression, the printing, the colours and the accessories. Today we have police with walkie-talkies. We didn't have that 40 years ago. The company, always a toy maker, struck gold in the 1970s, when the oil crisis drove up the price of plastics sparking the idea that small is beautiful. Since then it's made 2.6 billion of the figures. They're made in a factory in Malta, the animals and larger pieces here in Bavaria. Despite the financial crisis, last year saw record turnover of over half a billion euros. I think the most important thing is that Playmobil found the key to a child's imagination in 1974 and it still holds it today. The world was still a different place in 1974. The children's world was perhaps not as colourful, it became a little more colourful thanks to the little Playmobil figures. In a world where more and more games are digital, Playmobil toys still bank on children's love of fantasy and role-playing. They've long conquered the heart of European youngsters and will also be found under many American Christmas trees. Their next challenge is to conquer the Asian market.